Hello everyone, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. So in this video I'll be showing you how to code smooth movement controlled either by, by using the mouse or using arrow keys or like WASD. So first let's start off with the mouse. So grab uh, from the motion uh, tab, grab a set rotation style so it should be near the bottom right here and set to don't rotate okay then grab a forever from the control tab <coughs> put in a point towards mouse pointer so I'll just point towards mouse pointer if we just do that you'll see this actually rotate that's because we don't we, we put in this uh, don't rotate um, block so if we just switch it to all around you'll see now it just points towards the mouse pointer and I'll just put in move uh, go to sensing grab a distance to mouse pointer and also divide block and just put distance to mouse pointer divide by three now we can change the, this number here but let me just show you what this does so let's just put this to all, uh, don't rotate you might want to do all around it might fit some games but I don't think it will. <laughs> so what we have here, look, as you can see, it's nice and smooth. And if we let, let's say we change it to two, it's like less smooth. It's a little faster. And let's say five, it's just like nice and smooth. So I just want to say the smooth movement won't fit every game, but it's it, it, it'll probably fit most games. So now move on to using uh, arrow keys. First you'll need to make two variables. Make them X and Y, or whatever you want I guess. And at the start, set them to zero. Then forever, if the right, left, up and down, and was pressed, then just so if the right arrow is pressed, change X by 3. If the left arrow is pressed, change X by negative 3. If up arrow is pressed, change Y by 3. And if down arrow is pressed, change Y by negative 3. So if we run this code right now, you can see we can change the X and Y values quite a lot. So yeah, that all works fine. And now we just need to put in a change x by x and change y by y. And if we try to run this now, you'll see it's quite crazy. If we like, it's really hard to control and it's not even just good movement at all. So if we just put in these two blocks here, they basically divide the x and value by like a little bit every time. So every time the this this bit here runs so if we run this down you can see it's nice and smooth and obviously you can change these values a bit and also these so let's say if we change this to 0 0.5 you see it's like more blocky <laughs> movement and we can you know make this more so as you can see now we've got faster but still like blocky so this one the um, you want to have you want to have it be less than one and the closer you this is to one the more smooth it will be so if we change this to 0 0.9 you can see it's like really smooth and this just changes like kind of the speed so that's it for this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye.